What's up guys, today we got a super special package that came in the mail. And we should probably throw it right there and let's open it up. This is so exciting. Alright, uh, I think it's in this box. Oh, oh, I'm ripping it up. Alright, I'm struggling up here guys. Okay, let's put the camera down for a second. Get this thing out. Alright. <laughs> okay, so it's in here now. And, alright. You guys ready? You guys ready? You guys ready? All right, let's, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Let's do it, let's do it. Okay, one more, one more. All right, and there it is. Oh my God, guys, wow. This is epic. Look at this. Look at this. Uh, look, that is beautiful. We got a new screen for the GT500 and this thing is huge. And it has YouTube, it has internet, it has everything. And the best part is everything is pretty much digital. No more buttons besides this, obviously. These two are the only buttons. Everything else is touch screen. And well now it's probably a good time to head out and go install it. What a nice day, it's 30 degrees and sunny. The exhaust sounds while it's still stock. Well, good morning, guys. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. We got Mariah Carey on the radio, and Loki kind of sounds like gospel music. All right, let's go back to Rio. Oh, oh, oh my god! Traction on at like 75 miles per hour. This thing almost got loose and we would have just ended up as another Mustang meme. And did I forget to mention it's 19 degrees. Look at that right there. I'm definitely not trying that ever again. And we're back at MC Whips. Make sure you guys go follow them on Instagram right now. <laughs> good it looks in red and I'm not sure why this is missing but it's not here so that's going out this Range Rover is finally done look at this thing it used to be white and now it's set in black or I don't know gunmetal the color looks different in every angle let me show you guys even the door jams are done literally everything is done you can never tell that this car used to be white. Look how beautiful it came out. I think the only thing they're doing right now is putting the Range Rover badges. Wow. And by the way, this is an SVR, so this is the fastest Range Rover they offer, but now it's time to get my car in here. Oh, yes. And uh, the GT500 is dirty as hell. Almost dropped my camera, wow. All right, so here's the screen. Let me show you guys a little more in depth of the screen. Well, you guys already seen the screen, so it's here. Let me show you guys the back of the screen. Uh, let's take it out. So it's like an Android screen. Let me just take it out before I drop this thing. And don't worry, my hood is PPF, so that's why I put the box on there. So here's the back of it, and here is the front of it. So that's that. You got this, this is the GPS and the compass antenna. And then you got more wiring here. Let me show you guys. So you got this right here. I don't know what this is, I think it's like a speaker. And then you got some more wiring here. What is that? I don't know what this is. Looks like a little red light. Yeah, I don't know. And you got the wire harness that is specifically made for the GT500. And then you have this. And then you have some clips. So everything is in here and we're going to attempt to install this screen. So first up we have to take off this piece right here which has the gauges. And then this has to come off. We unclip this that was here. And then you got two little screws right there. And well of course you got to unscrew the screws. Are you excited for the big screen? I'm excited to eat this food. We're gonna have a lunch break really soon. You smash. love the food part, don't you? Uh, the food part's good. I'm on keto diet right now. So Are you really? Yeah, I swear. What is that? Like low carbs. Or actually no carbs. No carbs. You're eating no carbs. Yeah, and you gotta stop eating that. You can start eating. Well, at give me one second. 
Let's let's oh let's pay attention God. to this. The yeah, he's gonna take my dual clutch out. I'm surprised how easy this was to take off. Yeah, me too. There's literally honest. two screws on each side, and then it just came off. You just gotta unplug a few it's, things right there. It's yeah. Ford. That's why. Dodge makes it so much harder. Alrighty, there you go. From Ron. That's for you, your birthday present. Thank you, my baby. This is how we detail cars. Yeah. Take off. Oh. He broke it. I'm gonna put it in the Durango. Put it in the Durango. I'm, I look better in the Durango. <laughs> So now the screen is coming out. Oh my god, look at that. There's a CD player, so we're gonna lose that. But I mean, who really uses CD players nowadays? Yeah, make sure you remove those wires before snatching that out. And then, yeah, there's like three of them, and four. then four right here. So this is the wire harness for this screen. Nick, I got another present for you. Ooh, a start button. Yeah, you could put that in your CTS. So, so far it's taken us 10 minutes to get to this point by removing this, that, the center console, the whole dash pretty much. So it hasn't been taking us that long. Next, we gotta remove some parts off the old radio and put them on the new radio. So then this comes out, and we basically gotta transfer that over to here. So this plate comes out. So this plate comes off, and that's where we transfer this and this as well. This is the start and stop button, would pretty much go over here. And we also gotta take these off of here just because we already have them right here. So then this will simply sit flush right here. All right, quick food break. What do we got here? Is this mine? I don't even know which one's mine. I think this is mine. What are you eating? Rice, chicken, look at you, boy. Mm -hmm. You no. said, uh, what, what diet were you on? You said no carbs, huh? Mm -hmm. So there's no carbs in here? No rice. Rice is not carbs, right? No, it is. Oh, okay. So we took off everything we need off of the older screen and installed it on the new one. Let me show you guys. So we got this and we got the cigarette lighter thing we don't need this because now everything is digital and now this is ready to get installed on the car so now what we got to do is figure out where these wires connect to there's a lot of wiring over here but we might not need to use every single one of them so we also forgot to take that out we got to transform from that to this over here this is a lot harder than it looks and all the instructions are in uh what do you say in chinese in chinese he said they haven't made english instructions yet and then there's a couple youtube videos but not for the gt500 or not for a premium mustang it's just for like the base model mustang so it's kind of annoying to try to figure this out without knowing what the f to do so i'm in the driver's seat now and we've pretty much put all the wires that we need to everything's plugged in a few wires here are plugged in as well just so we could get the screen to work and now we're gonna try to see if it's gonna work so i'm just gonna click this all right, windshield wipers are working. Screen is working. Got navigation, radio, music here. This is uh, car info right here. Everything pretty much is working. So now we just gotta put everything back together and we'll be all set to go. All right guys, so the screen is all done and we are getting ready to pull it out and show you guys the final product. Look at that, it looks so good. It needs a wash. They're a little busy today, so they're not gonna be able to wash it, but I definitely gotta wash it myself. And just look how good this thing looks. And we got Johnny here, repping Motor City Whips. <laughs> and this thing is also getting wrapped. It's red, and it's getting wrapped army green. Oh, we got a garbage truck out there. Oh. Look how beautiful this thing is. Wow. It just has to get cleaned like I said. But are you guys ready to see the final product of the screen? I already checked it out, looked through it. It is insane. Like, I don't know why these cars don't come with those screens, but I guess that wouldn't be practical. So how do you like the screen? It, it's uh, like, I feel like a mandatory thing if you have at least like, a Mustang GT or GT500, it's just a nice amenity. Any Mustang, you need it.
Honestly, bro, the interior is so boring on them. Yeah, and that just changed this is the like entire a vamp up. This should come from the factory. If That's pickup, what I said. If cheap pickup trucks are getting, you know, the screen with cost seats. Yeah. If you're buying a Mustang with some power, whatever, you should get a big, nice screen. All right. Well, thank you. I love you. Love you too, bro. And Drive I will gang. see you maybe soon. Tomorrow. Maybe. 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 Right. Well, all right, guys. We are in here, and the screen is right there. It's a bit dirty, but you know we gotta clean it. We still got the little protector on there, so we're gonna leave that, but wow, wow, wow. This was like a must. So I'm gonna walk you guys through it, so I'm just gonna turn this on right here. Make sure no music is being played. So you pretty much have everything you need here. You have navigation, you have radio, you have music, you have this, it shows you the car, it shows you your RPMs, your miles per hour, and you still have this. This is the infotainment system look of just the regular Mustang. It's still here, so you still got that. And then you got video, you can play video here. And then you got your settings, your custom apps. You got a lot of stuff here. I mean, look at all this. You could change these colors right here. You could do so much. The fitment is beautiful. These were transferred from the other one and it fits. And also another cool thing here we got is this. We got two extra USBs. So you got two here, one here, and we got one in here. So now we have four of them. And wow, like shout out to MC Whips for doing this for me. Literally, they've never done anything like this and we had no instructions, nothing. Even the videos online weren't even for my car and they figured it out and we did it. So now we're gonna turn her on and watch these gauges right here. Look at that. Look at that. So the gauges work with these gauges as well. Uh, 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 watch. So when you do this, this one goes up and down as well. So let me know what you guys think of this screen. I am so happy. Love it. Apple CarPlay works. Everything works. The reverse camera works. Look at this thing. That works just fine. Everything works. And I'm just so excited. I, I don't even know what words to use right now, but let me know your thoughts in the comments below. But today's video is coming to an end. So if you guys like today's video, give it a big thumbs up. If you're new to the channel or you just forgot to subscribe, make sure you smash that subscribe button and I will see you guys on the next video. We got tons of racing videos coming up. So make sure you guys are staying tuned in for the videos and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.